Wow, when I tell you today drained me, today drained me. Don't you worry, don't you cry. I can promise it gets better in time. Keep your head up, keep your shine. Hold my hand up, it gets better in time. I'm Re, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, babe, hit the subscribe button because you're gonna wanna stay. If you're returning, hey besties, it's so good to see you again. We are getting ready for a girls weekend that I've been literally looking forward to since I found out about it. Um, we're just jumping in. First of all, how are you? Let's, let's start there. How are you? Do you need prayer? Do you have a prayer request praise report? Drop it down below because you already know I don't play about y'all. So I just got home and the girls are coming over. The granddaughters are coming over in a little bit. Like all of us are gonna be here because our girl Steph is celebrating her birthday and we're celebrating it together. So they're coming over here tonight to do a photo shoot and then tomorrow we're gonna be in DC and I'm just really looking forward to it. I just, today was just a very long day, okay? Today was long. Lots of stuff has been going on at the job, but um, the Lord has kept us. So I'm not even gonna complain, but I kind of need to get a move on because they're gonna make their way over here very, very shortly and my house is a wreck. So I need to clean before they get here. So let me go ahead and do that. And the next time you see me or you see us is when they'll be here. Never a dull moment. Impractical, babe. To be kicked and not kick a student back. Per the handbook. Per the handbook. Because that's it. Yeah, I'm just... think you add too much blush, you add more. You add that's more. That is, my, that is my motto. I'm glad you feel the same when way. When you way. think it's, when, when you think you've gone overboard, put another You got a fan? On. No. Yeah. One thing about us, we're going to holler. We sure are. Late night, it's usually not my style, but I enjoy being around it. <laughs> I do. I, like, it's not my it's not my style. I, I feel like I sound like I'm on crack if I start yelling. Do it. No. Please. Um, but. We won't judge. I think, see, I think it, it just triggers a part of me. Oh, my God. From, like, like, party girl -ry. No. Girl. What you used to yell at? She was loud. It's all over the place. It is fun. It's nice. Okay. It's like subtle. You want it to be brighter? No, I just feel like it's. I, feel like I, I just need a blend it more. I oh, yeah. It's more pale than I wanted it to get. Yeah. Like it's lighter than I wanted it to be. But yeah, I wanted it like a Oh, you would hate to see what I look like when I do mine. You'd be like, Rihanna, please. <laughs> you just gotta trust the process. That's what I was saying. Does it come together? So, baby, my under eye is gonna be as bright as my future. Okay. It's gonna be as bright as my future. Woo! Jesus. Okay, and what's this part for? What? Oh, uh, I'm reverse contouring to just make my, to divide my cheek. Yeah. Nobody Two vloggers. Look at camera. She's so official. Y'all go follow her at All Things L. The granddaughters are here. We're here at the house. We're doing a uh, Galentine's part two photo shoot because our um, where's our girl? Oh, she's getting her hair done right now. Let me let me be at her business. She's here. Birthday hey, girly what is up, here. What up, what up, yes, what up. you know we had to do it again hey, with the granddaughters. Hey, 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 I can't wait to see the hair when it's done. There's Ray Ray. Hey Ray Ray. Come on now. Just say hi to all the granddaughters. Y'all don't look at my Christmas tree. The Christmas tree is fine. Look at the look at the star. Look at the star. Babe, look at her. Just sad. Just sad. I know. We're gonna take her down. 
Just leave it because you she, know she what? It's all right. It's she all right. It's 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 all right
Jo Joelle. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? I mean, how you know? I just was like almost sure. I mean, like, it's her birthday. Why not? Well, I'm gonna be quiet for the rest of the night. No. That's okay, because it was I'm me. I'm done yesterday. now. Well, I almost said some of the pictures before she found out. What did I say? It was Joelle like, did this shit show me tell about what we doing? I was like, no, don't tell her what we doing. This is their surprise. <laughs> Good morning from a few days later okay it's tuesday morning and i'm getting ready for work um but i just felt like i have i literally haven't talked to you guys all vlog so um let's just kind of backtrack let's just have a real honest and transparent moment as we are getting ready for work today so i will for one i'm up super early because i'm pretty sure i have an observation today i just have to finish some things before i come and get observed so I'm like going to the school a little bit early today. And when I mean early, I mean just like on time. But let me just tell you how this past weekend, so you guys already saw that we were hanging out for Steph's birthday. Steph came into town and you know, we spent the weekend in DC. I was coming off of a rough week last week. Like I just felt like very, very drained. There was lots of stuff that went on at my job last week, but I don't know, Friday I just felt super drained. And that's when the girls that like, came over and <laughs> this is where we get real and honest because I don't feel like people talk about how difficult it is to make friends when you're an adult, but also when you're coming into something that's already pre-established. So for instance, the granddaughters were the granddaughters before I got here. And so they have all of this time in and I felt like when the original group got back together, I felt like I was intruding on something. Like I felt like I was intruding on something that I was out of place that I didn't belong, right? This is strictly me being in my own mind because the girls have never been anything but welcoming to me. Like they have literally welcomed me with open arms. Like this is literally just me inside my head. And so I had this moment on Friday where I couldn't enjoy it because I'm like, man, I don't get the inside jokes. You have all this time in and you guys are just vibing and you know i didn't want to intrude on that like i felt like i'll just sit this one out like you guys like they're obviously here at my place just use my place but like you know do y'all thing and so the enemy was really playing on my heart while they were there in live time and i didn't really know how to handle it because i'm like you should be out there hanging out with them like those are your girls like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how much time they have in, they're still your friends, they're still your family, they're still your sisters. And the enemy was like, literally, I kid you not, this is what I heard. The girls were in the back of my living room cutting up, having a grand old time. It was so bad that I came into my prayer closet just to sit for a moment while they were out there. And like, I knew I should be out there because it's like, those are my girls. Like, I love them, they love me. Like this, I should not be feeling like this. And so the enemy was literally like, I walked out there to go get something to drink and they were back there just like, you know, dancing, vibing, just having a time, right? And he was like, do you thought that was gonna be you? They're only here because you have a house. They're only here because you have a house that they can congregate at. That's never gonna be you. You're not part of the group. And I was literally like, hold up, like, what is this? And I was really stressed out about it because I'm like, this is in, like, that's insane. Like I've never had thoughts like that before. And then for it to be so loud in my ear, I was like, that's crazy. And this is why it's so important that you be prepared for the things that you're praying for. And not only that, you pray that you're able to maintain it because I'm like, I don't want to self-sabotage. I don't want to push anybody away because they haven't, they haven't done anything to me. They've always made me feel welcome. They've included me just like in everything. And I don't know if it was like me just being insecure or like, it was just like, I don't know. I don't know where it came from, but that is like something I'm working with God on right now because you don't want to self-sabotage and you don't want to push good people away. So I'm like trying to figure out what the root cause of that whole thing was. But like, I don't even, I don't even know. Maybe it was like anxiety. I have no idea. But that literally started my weekend. And then I almost like canceled the rest of my weekend. Like I was almost like, I'm not going to go to DC. You guys just have fun. I had this feeling of like being a placeholder friend. And I don't like that feeling. It's a horrible place to be. And I'm not a placeholder friend. It's different when you are young and you make friends because usually when you make friends, like you make the group all at one time. But when you're coming into something that's already pre-established, you feel like you're robbing them of something that they built. Like I feel like I'm benefiting off of something that they built and it feels like, oh no, I'm not. Mm -mm, I'm not deserving of that. Don't let me get in the way of what you guys already have, like whatever, whatever. 
And so I was just literally so like this whole week, it played on my mind this whole weekend, like all day, Friday night was so rough. Like I literally got no sleep because I was like, oh my gosh. And then, and again, let me just practice by saying, literally, I love every single one of the granddaughters. Like I love them. And I know that they love me in return. This was just me being very much in my own head. And I was like, how do I get out of here? Because I don't want to feel like that. And I also don't want to push myself away from them because I prayed for faith-based community. I prayed for sisterhood and God gave it to me. I don't want to self-sabotage. I don't want to ruin it just because, you know, I feel whatever. Now, again, my feelings are valid, like, because I can feel however I want to feel, but I don't want to stay here because I know it's not the truth. Ooh, so all weekend, I've been kind of just like, I feel myself receding, like, and I don't know if this is something that is new for me too, because I'm, how do you even say it? I'm so used to being by myself. I'm so used to being by myself. Even growing up, I felt like I was always the friend that was loyal to everybody, but no no one was loyal to me in return. Like when I was in high school, I didn't do clicks. I did a lot of stuff. So I was able to hang out with theater kids, band kids, sports kids. Like I had a really, like I was never the clicky girl. I was always invited, but I was never a clicky girl. And um, I could hang out with literally anybody. So I always felt like I was that friend that everybody came to. I was always invited places and um, he, I was loyal to everybody. Anything that anybody needed, I was always that person. And even in college, I felt like, again, I was even with like my college girls, I always felt like, well, at St. Joe's, I had like my solid, my solid group, like that was a solid group. But when I transferred from St. Joe's, I felt like, Again, there was kind of a group there already just because they had already gone to school for a few years, but they weren't like like super, super close or whatever. However, it was like a small group of three or four. And so it, I, think, I don't know, maybe it was just easier. I don't know. But I can't tell if I'm just so used to being alone that being in a friend group of a lot, like, and it's not, realistically, it's not a lot of people. It's like six girls. I can't tell like if I'm just not used to being so close and having intimate relationship with like, like my sisters, like I, I don't, I don't know what it is, um, but I've literally just been like thinking about it all weekend, and I'm like, I yes, I'm comfortable by myself, but I don't want to be by myself my whole life. I want to have support. I want to have my village. I want to have my my girls, my people, and I don't want to ruin that right now. So like that has just been something that I've been dealing with because like they're all so lovable, and it's just like why would I even feel like that? Why would that spark out of nowhere? I felt bad because like it was it was Steph's birthday weekend and like I didn't want to bring this up during Steph's birthday weekend because I'm like girl and it, it, like I don't want to it's not about me it's about you this is about your celebration like this is all all for you I don't want to bring my mess into it so like this weekend I really just took kind of a step back and I just feel like right now I'm like I don't I don't really know how to navigate but what i'm not going to do is let the enemy think that he won because like he could say whatever he want to say if god brought me here if god led me here and he made the way like so easy like when i think about how we all became friends like i met the girls because of steph because she's so loving because her ministry is bringing people together because she was obedient i met them because of her and like i just I don't know like, I just don't know why all of a sudden it's coming out of nowhere but it needs to go so I'm definitely just like praying on that because I feel like I have been praying for all of the relationships in my life but, like the moment you start praying for specific things the enemy is like let's see how I can add some tension add some stress well that's all he can really add because nothing that the Lord brought together can the enemy or anyone ever tear apart that's true for friendships too especially when it's unprovoked like literally nothing has happened nothing has changed I just like had that feeling and I was like girl are you being insecure like what is this but like for real it was a spiritual it was a spiritual attack and it really disrupted my peace this entire weekend and then some like today's Tuesday and it's still heavy on my heart and it's still something that I'm praying over and it's just like oh no 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 no, no. you can't have this can I just have a large sweet tea yep that's it thank you we're back with another sweet tea moment um, they have me in a chokehold, but y'all gotta remind me to drink water because like I haven't been drinking it. Good morning, how are you? I'm good. They have to say every time you come here, you look like radiant. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Have a good day. Y'all heard that man? Not only if my husband would come find me. Okay, he said I looked I look radiant every time I come in here. I'd be feeling like that's a lie though, because sometimes I'd be coming with my scarf on. 
what I said. The traffic, it's either going by fast in one, one direction and slow in the other, so I can never get out, but I guess today was not too bad. It's usually horrible. Why are you speeding? I need to get over. Don't play with me. That was crazy. What are you speeding for? Don't speed. It's not necessary. Anyway, so today, today is Tuesday, which is like one of my longer days because I have coach class after school, which is like an opportunity for kids who are struggling in my class to come get extra help, whether it's like one-on-one -on -one or like in small groups. Um, it's just easier to contain like three or four kids than having 34 kids with all different diverse needs physical academic emotional all of that so um i have coach class today and then after that i'm tutoring but i think what i'm going to do from now on is i'm just going to tutor from the school i have my my scholars that i tutor um that are in high school some are in elementary school some are in college um right now i'm at full capacity for how many students i can tutor because that is like a third job technically and um I they usually just call on to zoom and i don't charge i haven't been charging them because like i really do feel like this is my ministry um so i just give them like a 45 minute session or it's just kind of as needed like sometimes it's not every single week that we meet um but like i wouldn't even like in college i just remember being super broke <laughs> like i had no money and and i really could have used someone to help me for free um and this is actually a student that this is like my first set of students. They're freshmen in college this year and like they're like, yeah, we need some help. So I just tutor them as needed really. And it's usually not even like a full session. Like sometimes we're only on there for like 30 minutes, but Tuesdays are my days. This is an unflattering angle, I'm so sorry. Um, Tuesdays are my longer days aside from Thursdays because Thursdays is faith chat. So that's a long day for me too. But today's like a longer day. Um, this video actually has to go up today. So I had to figure out like <laughs> when I'm gonna have time to like edit because I do have an observation this morning. Um, I feel like I'm always getting observed. Like the district is always coming to my classroom. Administration is always coming to my classroom. They're bringing other teachers to like look at my classroom, um, which is like fine, but it also can be nerve wracking because sometimes my kids, they be stress me. Um, just like the behaviors sometimes stress me, but I don't want to discourage the kids because like I have to like remind them that they are not their behavior. Like. If there are things that I don't like, it's just the behavior. I don't dislike you, I just dislike the behavior. I don't wanna have to like every time I have an observation be like, guys, I need you guys to be somebody that you're not. Like I don't I don't want that, but also at the same time like act right, right? Like you're only hurting yourself here. Um, but yeah, so I it can be kind of nerve wracking when you're having those observations, but it's just, it's fine. That that's teaching for you. It's, but yeah, so I don't know when I'm gonna have time to actually like edit this video today. It's gonna go up today. Today's Tuesday, February 27th. It's gonna go up today. So I'm not gonna get home until probably like 4.45, which is late. I usually like to tutor in my house. It actually, it just depends on if kids wanna come to coach class today. If they don't wanna come to coach class today, then I'll just come home and tutor. But like, I feel like we're they're struggling a little bit in algebra and I get it, so. The day that I had today, if you saw my Instagram story, <laughs> sorry, I just posted a story to my like close friends on IG. I can't wait for the school year to be over so that I can tell you guys like 
in live time what is happening but i can't say it right now just because um my current students and stuff they watch me right now i just need them not to be students anymore so i can like speak on it and it's not about the kids at all it was actually a parent interaction that i had today i want to tell you guys about it so bad but today was a day so i'm self-caring right now i'm eating nutella and just like healthy ice cream protein ice cream i got this one from target this was the favorite day cookie dough it has 370 calories per pint and 20 grams of pro and 20 grams of and 20 grams of protein in the pint. Everybody, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. Like literally, I'm getting all the notifications. My brother literally, oh God, let me just, let me text my brother, hold up. He could wait. Anyway, yeah, today was literally wild. I had a parent inter interaction, crazy, crazy, crazy. So this vlog's not going up today, it's going up tomorrow and that's okay. I was gonna rush and get it done today, but I'm really all, I'm really trying to be more intentional about the quality of content that i'm putting out you're still gonna get the two videos this week just a day later hope you guys show me some grace but oh my gosh hold on i'll be right back <laughs> what is going on today what is going on today okay mm. Mm, okay anyway we're back sorry that was a very unexpected phone call all right anyway um what was i saying what was i saying i think i was talking about my video you still get the videos but i just want to make sure that i'm putting out quality content because you deserve quality so please just extend me some grace there all right i'm done i had like four bites of ice cream that's okay though mm. the phone call i just got was wild the enemy is onto something but i'm covered so there's that um anyway so i'm about to go get in the shower oh i gotta put you guys on to my new triple threat moisturized body like moisturization routine Ashy who? Ashy where? Not over here. Not over here. I gotta put you guys onto that. And then what am I, what am I gonna do tonight? I'm obviously gonna edit. Maybe we could do a Bible study. I haven't done a Bible study in here in a minute because I also haven't Bible studied in a minute. Oh my gosh, I also, so, <laughs> not there's anything wrong with it, but today I put on this jean jacket. I wanted, I tried to wear this jean jacket in the beginning of the school year and it was so tight. It was so uncomfortable around my arms. Like I could get my arms through it and get my arms through it, but I couldn't like bend them. If I bent, bent them, it like put so much pressure here, it hurt, right? And today I put that same jean jacket on and the arms were so loose, it felt so nice. But now I'm finding, I have like, I just have more stretch marks that are like popping up. There's nothing wrong with that, but like I looked in the mirror today and I was like, oh my goodness gracious. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Like I have them everywhere now and I'm like, okay, like, you know, okay. What do you guys put on stretch marks? Do you guys, I mean, I'm not like, I, I'm not ashamed of them. I don't, they don't bother me like that they're there. I'm just like noticing them. Like, can you see them? Yeah, like that's, that's something. I don't really have them on this side. Like, they're not like too bad on this side. Like I, I do see them, but they're very light. But what do you guys put on them? Do you guys just like, do not put anything on them? People say like vitamin E oil helps. I have that. Maybe I could start putting them on there. But I feel like I haven't gotten stretch marks in years. You know, when you go through a growth spurt, like when you hit puberty and like your body starts changing like rapidly. I feel like I got stretch marks then, but then I hadn't really noticed any real stretch marks since. Not visible anyway, but now I have them and it's just, showing you part of my journey that I was either small and got big or I was big and got small. And that is just, this is that. Oh my gosh, I wish I could tell you guys what happened today. You know what? Reminds me, when it's literally the last day of school, when, when you get my, when you see the video that says last day of school, right? So June, somebody put in the comments, come back to this video. Somebody put in the comments like, story time tell us what happened on february 27th with that parent in the parental meeting please somebody remind me because this is just this is just too good i couldn't put it on my public story on ig because my students also be watching my instagram story and i'm like i need some business of my own but whew, lord have mercy all right let's go take a shower this is this is big back energy right now like i'm trying to unbig my back but my back is always gonna be mid big because eating Nutella with a spoon and pairing it with ice cream is wild. <laughs> okay, so we are freshly out the shower. I just took this robe from out of the dryer and it feels so good. Why is my camera angle like this? Okay, okay, that's better. All right, so I just took I just took my shower, y'all. I feel so good. Like 
I don't know, my showers just have been hitting lately. Um, so if you're not showering, shower so you feel good. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. A shower is never wasted. <laughs> um, anyway, so let me put you guys onto a combination that has literally one, had me smelling good, has me moisturized and feeling good, like OMG. Um, so I lied, I said it was three. Technically it's three for 90% of it, but for that other 10%, I add one more thing. So you need a good like creamy lathering lotion. Lathering, yeah. Um, I use the Eucerin, this is the Eucerin Intensive Repair Lotion. Do I need the Intensive Repair? No, but I like it. I am a person that likes to feel lotion on my skin. I wanna feel it, I don't care if it's oily, I wanna feel it. Okay, I'm very much that girl. So if you are not that person, don't use as much. I still think you should use it, just don't use as much. But I, this is my base. Then I go in with the EOS Vanilla Cashmere, my good sis, my good sis right here. And it's um, the 24 hour moisture body lotion. I don't really know how true that is on its own um, because I feel like I have to keep reapplying it. And I'm not mad at it because I love the smell of it. It smells very much like dessert, very much like cake batter. Um, and I'm okay with reapplying it, but I'm not, I don't always have the luxury of being in a place where I can reapply lotion all over my body because you know, I have a nine to five, you know, nothing too crazy. But this, and then I also use the Palmer's, this is definitely not that, but this is what I was, <laughs> I'm so all over the place. Um, this is what I'm using for my stretch marks. This is the Palmer's vitamin E body oil. You could use this, but what I've been using is the Vaseline intensive care cocoa radiant body oil. Baby, this right here, mm, locking the moisture in, O-M-G. And then for that other 10% that I was telling you guys about, I use the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Body Treatment. I use this specifically on my elbows, my neck, and on my knees because like my elbows are a little bit dark and my knees are a little bit dark as well too. So I like to put this on there to kind of fade them. And I just started using this about two weeks ago and I'm already seeing a big difference. So I'm just gonna continue to keep using it. And you can use it probably all over. I just want to use it specifically for those dark areas and any scars. So yeah, so I do like, okay. So granted, I'm on camera right now. So I can't really do this how I want to do this. So I'm just gonna put two, two pumps in my hand and then I'm gonna do about a pump and a half of the vanilla cashmere and then a nice little, little squirt of this, okay, okay. And then because this is going on my upper body, I am just gonna go ahead and put this discoloration stuff in there, whatever it's called, discoloration body correcting, discoloration correcting body treatment, that's what it is. All right, and so go ahead, mix it well, like rub it in your hands, really good. Oh, it smells so good, oh my gosh. And you can already tell, like you're gonna be shiny because of the Vaseline in it. And then this is just going on, on all of it's going on my arms, like, it just feels so good. I love to put lotion on, like I don't know what it is, but the feeling, like this is one of my favorite parts of the day, just putting lotion on. I always get compliments that my skin is very, very soft, it's always moisturized, that I smell good. Um, and me and Misty were talking about this last night too. She was like, those are like the two best compliments that you can ever get. And I'm like, no, for real, like that you smell good and that your skin is soft. I mean, granted, I don't know what I would be doing if my skin, like well, how does your skin not be soft? Like, I, that's a genuine question. Like, what do you, how does that happen? Because, I mean, there are some times where I neglect, specifically like my lower body. Um, oops, people are still commenting on this Instagram source. It's so funny. Um, I do neglect sometimes the lower part of my body. Like sometimes if I'm, a, if I'm in a rush and I know that my legs are gonna be closed. Oh, and I know that my legs are going to be covered. Rihanna, please. I know that my legs are going to be covered. I just won't put lotion on my legs, like, because nobody's gonna see it, but like, no, I really need to do that. But and then I also like to make sure that it gets on my neck as well. In the winter, you definitely need to up your moisturization game because when it gets so cold and the air gets so dry, it's like your body, your, your skin starts to crack a little bit. And I'm going back in with the same thing, except for this time, I'm using that same amount on one leg, okay? There's lotion all over this robe, but I don't even care. Everything is getting moisturized. Just give it a good mix. Cause it like does this like weird thing where it like, when it mixes, I, you can't see it, but it like clumps up a little bit. I think just because like the different, um, just like the different textures and stuff that are with the 
Oh my god, I'm spilling on the floor. Can't be wasting the good stuff. What is y'all favorite moisturization combination? Do we want to see more like... I need to like... I'm trying... Not rebranding, but I'm trying to put out like more specific content like videos instead of just doing vlogs all the time i mean you'll always get a vlog but like what's other content that you want to see i'll probably put it up i'll probably put a poll on my community page but what's other content do you want to see like do you want to see more like self maintenance saturday resets um self-care like what do you guys want to see because i just i feel like i'm getting like i don't know not being redundant but being redundant i don't know how many times you can watch me do the same things i mean i appreciate the people that do but you know what i'm saying like what else do you want to see i'm so sad this is my last leg <laughs> like i just want to keep rubbing this lotion everywhere it's really the vaseline that does it so it's like the vaseline smells smells good smells like cocoa and cocoa butter and then with the combination of the vanilla cashmere smells so good together oh my gosh this doesn't really smell so she's just happy to be in the mix but yeah like this is not there being a hair let's just do this real quick i need to figure out what i'm doing with my hair i need this unit to go i'm over her she sheds too much i want some braids but i don't want to pay anyone to do it but i might have to because i just can't bring myself to do it we are all moisturized the rest just you know putting your hands but you know no dry elbows over here they're a little dark but we're taking care of that but no dry flakiness over here there are many reasons why my husband's going to be a lucky man but he will never have to worry about me being crusty i'm always going to be soft and my soft girl era forever for life so hurry up and send them away much this is good wow i need to get rid of these nails too i think i'm gonna do some like maintenance this weekend i was gonna go see my sister on friday and then come back on saturday and like do it but i feel like that would just be like a lot of like rushing around so don't know if i'm gonna go see her this weekend or if i can maybe go next week something like that oh my gosh speaking of nails I be seeing Mariah post on Instagram all the time and first of all like I'm just like so happy to see her thriving but I also like literally my eyes water when I see her doing somebody's nails that are not mine <laughs> like I miss that girl so much you just wait until tax season is over bro just wait it just feels so nice like I, I want to shine like you know how you know how in Twilight when the Cullens they sparkle yeah that's cute and dandy and everything and I love me some Cullens right but i want to shine like can you see it get into it oh my gosh it's so nice okay i'll be back so i'm getting ready to go to bed but i kind of wanted to just come on here really quick and just like do a little faith talk with you guys as i'm getting myself ready for bed because god is just really so good god is really so good like it just really blows my mind and I specifically want to talk about the topic of healing. Healing just in general. It doesn't matter what it's from. Just the fact that God is so good that he will literally heal you to the point where you don't even remember the feelings attached to the hurt that you once felt. And so I remember I was telling you guys about a situation that happened like New Year's Eve. And it was so bad to the point where like I couldn't stay in the house. I had to go drive home to my mom's house because I just I just couldn't deal, right? Even though I went to my mom's house, like nobody knew what I was going through, but just the fact that I was able to be around my family, like, but I remember the hurt that was attached to it. Like I felt like if I left here and I went somewhere else, the hurt wouldn't follow and it definitely followed. And I remember just waking up every single day for like an entire month just in pain. And even all of last year, I was consumed with like frustration and comparison and impatience and just like just discouragement and disappointment like it was just like constant like a whole year and then recently this year i started off 2024 with that same feeling but it was elevated and i just remember when my church did this corporate fast in the beginning of the year we did the daniel fast and i was like crying out to the lord like god i'm praying for peace i'm praying for healing and i feel like i'm getting the exact opposite i'm getting more reasons to not feel peace i don't feel healed right like i feel like i'm just this is just the wound that somebody just keeps picking at and it just uh, when when do i get any relief and like i have gotten to this point and i want to say within like the last like three three weeks i want to say since the beginning of like february i've had 
just literal peace regarding everything that I was so focused on, that I was so hurt from, that I was so disappointed from. This is not to say that I'm numb, right? I'm not numb at all. I still have full capability of loving people, still ca full capability of feeling things, which is also why I wanna talk about this too, because I felt like in the moment when I got that peace, like I woke up one day and I didn't feel the heartbreak. I didn't feel the frustration. I didn't feel the disappointment. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't numb. And so I was trying to go back to things that were familiar for me, things that were comfortable for me, things that used to, you know, ignite some sort of feeling with inside, inside of me, whether it was good or bad. Going to old habits, conversing with people from my past who used to make me feel something, whether it was good or bad in the long run. And like God really had showed me like, no, this is what the joy of the Lord is. This is what peace looks like. This is what healing looks like. You're in it. And so my need to self-sabotage doesn't need to go any further because you're not feeling numb. You can still love. Like the fact that I'm still able to love the people, the person, whoever it is, whatever it is, still able to love them right now. Like I would think about my current situation. Like my current situation has physically not changed. The things that bothered me before are still very much here, but I am not no longer bothered. I'm at the point now where I'm like, you know what? Like you got it and I want what's best for you. And I'm okay with walking away because at the end of the day, my peace isn't worth that. Like, no matter how bad I want something, if it's gonna disrupt my peace, I don't want it. And I'm just like thinking like, God is just such a good God because he can literally do it in a minute. And I know that being on the other side of it right now is definitely different than being through it because like I would have to have this conversation with myself to talk myself through. Getting to the next day was a struggle for me for so long. And now it's like I wake up and I'm like, I just have so much peace of mind. I'm just so unbothered, but like I'm still fully like loving and able to forgive. And like people always say like, forgive and forget, but you never truly forget. However, I have forgotten how they have made me feel. Like I know in my mind that what they did was not great what they did was hurtful what they said was hurtful and how i thought at the time like literally made me sick but i stand here right now and i i just think about i just recount all those things all those encounters and i literally feel nothing like i literally feel nothing and i really feel like that is just it's nothing before the grace of god that that is even a thing because for me i'm like once you have done something to me like it sticks with me forever not that i'm holding a grudge but it sticks with me forever and god is like you can literally let that go you can literally let that go you don't have to worry about it and it's just so funny to me now that i'm going through this like i really truly believe that my healing has come my joy has come and the very people who wronged me the very people who i don't want to make it seem like they wronged me but like you know how when people do you dirty let's just call it what it is they do you dirty um and now they're trying to come back and weasel their way back into my life like and it's like one after the other and it's like no you fumbled you fumbled me and i would die i would just die if i fumbled me <laughs> realistically because what are you doing but like literally just to see how they're all coming out of the woodwork and it's like i used to tell god this all the time like why is it that specifically and i'll and i will even take it one step further specifically when it came to dating i was like why do guys have to show me how great i am after they have shown me how awful they are when i from the jump could see how great they were and it was just like i just felt like y'all don't have to do all that like you literally don't have to do all that i know i'm i know that i'm a good person i know that i have a good heart i know that the lord placed so much love in me and i just want to be able to give it and then for you to just play with every emotion with everything that i told you and you've done x y and z and it's just like now i just feel like you fumbled and i'm not going back i'm not going back because god, i've asked god to do a new thing and he is doing a new thing. And like, I don't know what he's doing right now, but I know that I will soon see what he's doing. And like, I'm not even willing to jeopardize it, but it was just so crazy because like, I got a phone call yesterday and you guys kind of saw that in live time. And I was just kind of like, I can't believe that I'm getting this phone call. And for a time, at a time, it would have been like something that was so big that was on my mind. And like for a second, I was like, uh oh, but then I was like, no, this is actually horrible, no. Um, but like, just wanted to talk about healing because like, if you are going through, if you are like dealing with that right now, now you are dealing with the heartbreak you are dealing with uh, tension in relationships like even if even if it's not romantic relationship like friendships co-workers um family stuff right because we all have it continue to lean into god because he does listen and he does hear you and even when it doesn't feel like he's listening or feels like he's there 
he is there and he's making movements and it could be today it could be tomorrow it could be in a month it could be in three months but just know that on the other side of this there is peace there is healing there is joy there is that spiritual growth there and that's how i know that the lord is growing me spiritually because for a time i was like bitter bitter and that's just it just leaves such an ugly taste in your mouth but like being bitter, being so frustrated and angry, like nobody wants to stay there. And like just being on the other side of that right now, I'm just like, wow, God was just like really revealing this to me. Like I could do it in an instant. Faith is not faith without it being tested. And my faith was definitely being tested. And he was like, I just wanted you to draw near. I just wanted you to draw near to me. I just wanted you to lean into me. I just wanted you to trust me. I wanted you to come to me with everything. Even in the midst of your frustration, bring me your frustration. I'm not too small to handle your frustration. I'm actually bigger than everything that you could possibly ever go through. And it was just like such an encouragement to me because I'm like, wow, I'm literally sitting here. My situation has not changed. The people around me have not changed. The dynamics have not changed. And I, my mind, my heart, my emotions, my viewpoints, the way I feel has changed and that's enough for me. And that's how you know you're really allowing God to just operate through your life because literally he is like the calm within the storm. I'm still in the storm but I have so much peace about it. Like I'm not stressed out about it. Jesus is sleeping on the boat, so am I. <laughs> Cause the storm is definitely storming. The waves are still passing. Things around me have not changed, but here I am just trusting and believing that if God said it, he's gonna do it. And I just have to be okay with it not looking the way that I thought it was going to look, thought it was going to go. So I just wanted to leave you off with that because I just felt like finally I'm at a point where I can just be so free. It's it's freeing. And I wanted to share that because I know that I didn't have a lot of people around me to encourage me when I was going through. I just wanna be an extra person for you just to let you know that you it does get better. Regardless of whether or not your situation gets better when you want it to, your mentality, your faith, your feelings, they do get better. God will give you that peace. So I'm gonna to continue to pray for peace and healing over all of you because like, I just know what it's like to be on the other side of that, be bitter, be angry, and not wanna include God, but like, just do it, just keep leaning in. But I'm gonna leave you guys off here because I'm tired. I love you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also be sure to turn on your post notifications that way you can be notified every time I drop a new video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you in my next. Mm -hmm.